Yo, brother, you're on location with a geek. I'm Mark, a.k.a. the Little Black Dude. And I have one of the other vendors here from uh, from J1Con 2019. Would you introduce yourself, please? Hi, my name is Scott Clark. Mm -hmm. I am the lumbering blacksmith. <laughs> I make everything in wood. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was walking by, I saw that he had quite a few uh, uh, instruments of destruction here, all uh, made out of wood. Now, are these handmade? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're all made in my shop, mm -hmm. uh, all done with the old school woodworking tools. Mm -hmm. There you go. No CNC, mm -hmm. no routers. Mm -hmm. Not that I wouldn't have, have a CNC, but not there yet. Mm, gotcha. Uh, so you do everything by hand. Uh, all of the other uh, stuff is planed uh, by hand and everything. Yep. Uh, yep. How did you get started doing this type of work? This type of work specifically came out of uh, my, my older son wanted to cosplay. Mm. And he was looking at plastic weapons. And I said, hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not my son. <laughs> mm. oh, that I can understand. So we went all out. Mm. And I made him uh, a saber mm. from Fate Stay Night. Oh, very nice. And I made him, uh, he was going as Mako mm. from... Um, a big scythe mm -hmm. a character who carries soul oh, okay from soul leader oh yeah soul leader, and yes. uh mm. i said what do you think mm. and he had so many of his friends say oh can you make me something can you do something for me <laughs> and that's how it goes and yes that's how it goes and i did my <laughs> first con that summer mm. and it was a local downtown dover mm. and i had so much fun mm -hmm. oh my god i went nuts <laughs> i had so much fun that sounds and about ever right ever since i have been smiling every day i make so much sawdust mm. and i love every minute of it mm. it's so much fun what type of wood do you use for uh, for the weapons uh, generally what's available like pine you know what's available at home depot mm. you know i do try to salvage what i can mm. um just to you know just to be more sustainable uh, and I really, really make an effort to be cost conscious. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of cosplayers, a lot of geeks, a lot of, uh, you know, know geeks like me. <laughs> don't have a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. So I make a very, very strong effort mm. to break my stuff at a price point mm. where somebody can own something of mine, you know, on a, on a, on a babysitting budget. Right, nothing wrong with that at all. Is there a particular blade that uh, the people ask for a lot? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Uh, soul Eater, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Blade, uh, Soul. Mm -hmm. uh, I get that one a lot. Mm. Um, the Keyblades, mm -hmm. they've been asked for a lot. Oh. Um, the old school guys, like the Bleach. Mm -hmm. uh, the Zampak Toes mm -hmm. from Bleach. Mm -hmm. uh, that one gets asked a lot for. Mm -hmm. And of course, Master Sword mm -hmm. from Zelda. <laughs> yeah, when I walked up, he just <laughs> sold one. I just sold uh, <laughs> So I always have a Zelda. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much like, you know, the, the core stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. And I only like to make one or two. I don't like to repeat myself too much. Mm. I'm always looking for the next challenge. Mm, nothing wrong with that. Uh, where can uh, uh, new customers find you, either in person or online? Um, in person, uh, keep an eye on the local New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland cons. Mm. Uh, I don't like to travel mm. too far from Delaware. Mm. I do have family and a wife who likes me home. That is a good thing. Uh, and then I am on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, I am The Lumbering Blacksmith. So Facebook.com forward slash The Lumbering Blacksmith. Beautiful, beautiful. And what's fun about my Facebook page is as I come out of the basement with mm -hmm. my crazy design mm -hmm. or a new build, mm -hmm. I immediately photograph it and post it. Mm, that's the way so to do it. So if you go back through my Facebook page, you mm -hmm. can see my evolution of character designs and crazy stuff that I built. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for wooden weapons, something that's going to last you for the cosplay that you're doing, this is the guy to talk to. But, until, yeah, but until next time, we're going to go around and see some more stuff at J1Con. Till then, it's the little black dude. Put your fist up with me. Stay geek and proud. And proud. <laughs>